Hello. Um, waiting for Digimon World 3 Part uh, 8 to upload. So, um, thought I'd finally get down to it and show off my game collection. First, let's uh, start with PlayStation 1. Uh, we got Digimon World 3, obviously. Uh, you've heard my thoughts on that game. Uh, we have Rumble Arena, which I tried going back to. It's tough. I mean, it's really not as fun as it used to be. The mechanics are pretty broken, and I don't know. I mean, for nostalgia purposes, sure, it's good for like 10 minutes, but beyond that, I can't bring myself to sell it, though. Uh, I've talked about Digimon World 2. Uh, I like it, but it just it feels like it drags on for way too long. And it's just, a, you have to grind in that more than any other Digimon game that I've played. And I just don't have that kind of commitment. <clears throat> so, moving on. We have Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Uh, this was the very first game I played and beat on my own. And I love it. To, I love it to death. And I have so much fun with it to this day. I can go back and play it at any time. And it's fun. So, that's... And what's next? Digimon World. Obviously I have this. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to know what I think about this game, watch my Let's Play Digimon World 1, part 1 through 16. Uh, I talk about it for 11 hours. Uh, here's a blank case. Uh, I don't know what's in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bond Kingdom. In my opinion, this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I don't know if there was one for Game Boy or anything before that. But it's super fun, and um, it's just, like the <laughs> it's hard to go back to because they only have like so many cards, and there's no like summoning, for, there's no like tributing, and you can fuse anything. So it's weird, but it's still like ridiculously addicting. And S teching, oh, it's the hardest thing to do in the world. And if you don't know what that is, good it means you had fun with this game. Uh, what else? We have Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I've talked about that before. I um, I can't beat it because I've restarted it so many times. I have it on my PSP too, and um, I'm trying that out. I'm trying to get back into it, but give me time, god damn it. Um, ugh. So I also have Metal Gear. This was my older brother's copy, but uh, we found it in the basement recently, so I took it. Um, I'll talk about that more later. But um, I also have more PS1 games, but they're all downloaded on the PS3. Uh, so, you know, just stopped. Uh, like, I don't have the physical copies anymore because I have the digital downloads. So, I can't really show those off, but I don't know. If you have any questions, ask me about them. And... Ugh, let's do DS next. Um, I already said I sold my 3DS, but that's the only game I kept. So, I just, you know, I thought I'd mention it. Um, I have more than this game. I actually keep all of them here. Uh, let's just go over them. We have Soul Silver. Uh, that was a fantastic remake. It's probably my favorite Pokemon game to this day. Uh, I like Heart Gold a little better, but shh, don't I don't want to hurt his feelings. Uh, we have The World Ends With You, uh, which was made by the same guy who made... I know the quality is terrible. Uh, it was made by the same guy who made Kingdom Hearts, and it's really fun. The story is really awesome. We have Digimon World DS. It's probably my favorite Digimon video game. I used to have two copies just for matching, but uh, then I got friends, and they don't want to play anymore. Uh, we have Dragon Quest Monster. Think Pokemon, but with the Dragon Quest monsters, and it's super fun, especially like the breeding mechanics, like mixing and matching monsters. Um, I think it does Pokemon better than Pokemon does it. Uh, we have Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. This is a sequel to um, the Superstar Saga games that were on the Game Boy Advance. Or game, just one. Uh, and then there's Bowser's Inside Story, which is after this. But this one's actually pretty rare, and it is really fun. Uh, if you can find it, I recommend picking it up. Then we have Pokemon Black, Pokemon Black 2, or Pokemon White and Black 2. You know, meh, they're alright. Um, I still haven't even finished Black 2, but, you know. I'll get to it eventually. Uh, I should mention I also have P a PSP, and I have... Dissidia, Final Fantasy for it, uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and Crisis Core. I'm trying to play Crisis Core now, but it's a little rough. Um, just because I don't feel like handheld gaming lately. And moving on. And next we have GameCube. Uh, obviously, Pokemon Coliseum. I keep it on the top of my stack because I still don't remember how to spell Coliseum. 
Uh, no thoughts on that. You've, you've got it. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, this game's pretty fun. I just got it for the PS3. Um, the re-release, re or whatever you'd call it. Um, I like the game. I like the Chow Garden a lot, but my friends are all, like, super into it. I, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's worth keeping, but I've never been, like, that crazy about it. Um, what's next? Mario Baseball. Oh, my God. This game is super frustrating once you get into the later levels, but, um, it's really, really fun, and I highly recommend it. Like, you wouldn't expect it. You thought, you'd think it would be, like, just a cheap, like, oh, Nintendo made a quick game to sell some money. No, this game is really fun. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash. I own it, but, uh, just in case my friends want to play it, but I don't really like it. Uh, I've never really been that into Mario Kart. Uh, what else? Mario Sunshine. I will probably do a Let's Play of this after Coliseum. Um, this game is super fun, and I still go back and play it, like, a bunch. Uh, what else? Pokemon Channel. This game is worth playing once. I still keep it just for kicks. I mean, it's fun to go back to every once in a while, but it's definitely not, like, the greatest game ever. <laughs> like, I don't know why I even like it. I just kind of do. Um, I, it's hard to explain. Just pick it up. It's really cheap everywhere. Um, we have a blank game. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. What's in here? <clears throat> oh, great. That's that's helpful. Oh, Pokemon XD. Um, this is the sequel to Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, I still haven't beaten it. I've gotten really close to beating it, but it's definitely more fun than Coliseum. They um, they improved a lot of the stuff on it. But the story's not as dark, which I don't really like. I liked how they made Pokemon a little more adult. Um, but, you know... It is what it is. It is much more fun, though. Um, like, Pokemon Color seemed good, but this is great. I haven't finished it just because, you know. About to go to the final place, and I got kind of tired of Pokemon battling. Alright, and... What's next? Uh, the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. This has, um... Not for resale. That's what it says. Clearly resold. Oh, I took the games that little off. Um, this has the original Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link... Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I have tried to play Ocarina of Time. I've just I've said it before. I really just completely missed Zelda. Like I just I don't really find it that fun. I really want to get into it because I know it's a great series, but I don't know. I I'm really having trouble. But I own it just you know in case someday it clicks. I don't know. And this horrendous box art the GameStop used to have is for Fire Emblem. I played a little bit of it. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, I love tactics type games like that, but I just, um, you know, I got tired of it, so I stopped playing. I do that a lot with the games that are older. Animal Crossing's amazing. Uh, <laughs> if you are in a dorm room or share, like, a system with more than one person, I highly recommend picking this up because it's fun by yourself, but it's definitely more fun together. Um, what else? Custom Robo is really fun. I want to do a let's play of that, but there's a ton of text, but somehow I don't feel like that'd be a huge problem after doing Digimon World fucking 3. But, um, yeah, I'll consider it, but, yeah, it's a mech game, and until I played, um, well, to this day, it's still the best customization mech game I've played, but I haven't played Zone of the Enders 2, which I've been told is better, so. Judgment Withheld, Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Kingdom. I hate that this game is so cheap, because this game is super long and super fun, and I go back to it all the time. Um, like, it's an RPG using, like, you use the creatures from Yu-Gi-Oh! to, like, fight, like, RPG-style turn-based. Uh, like, they're not cards in this, and I like that. I think that was a bold step, and it paid off. But again, two ninety nine dollars at GameStop, if you can see that, because this goddamn glare... Um, let's see, Luigi's Mansion super fun, uh, if you want to know more about it, watch the Let's Play, i give more in-depth on that. Pikmin 2, uh, I didn't know this was rare, until one of my friends pointed out, and then I looked it up online, and apparently it's still like $40 to this day. Uh, I bought it a long time ago, for $40, uh, but this was back when it was new-ish, not used. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game is really, really fun. Um, it's improved on almost everything for Pikmin, and, you know, I'll consider it one day. Favorite game for the GameCube, hands down. Um, I love the story, I love the humor, I love the gameplay. Easily my favorite game for the GameCube. Uh, I really want to go back and play it now just by looking at the cover. That's how good it is. Uh, I have Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Um, from what I was told, this was the... They've like made 
Metal Gear Solid 1, but like redid it so it was more updated and the controls were a little easier. I really, really want to get into like, I've only played Metal Gear Solid 3 and I really want to get into the series, so I picked this up. I've yet to try it out, but I hope it goes well because I, I had trouble getting into Metal Gear Solid 1. Original Pikmin, uh, still really fun. I love the 30 day time limit, uh, I think it works really well. Um, and, you know, it's a really great game. Recommend picking this one up. Not that hard to find. And then Super Smash Bros. Melee. Game that needs no introduction. Um, I actually got pretty good at this over time. Um, because me and my friends spent all um, the summer after we graduated, which is only two years ago, um, playing this game nonstop. And we all got, like, too good. Like, we're not tourney level. And we probably wouldn't... We can't... There are people we can't beat, but, like... We all improved vastly over time. Uh, and let's move on to the next category. And next up is PS2. Uh, let's look at this. I have an empty case. I have no idea what it is. So let's look. <clears throat> oh, I have a Ratchet Plank going commando. Uh, I tried to sell this, but I couldn't because I have the HD collection for Ratchet Plank. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Chain of Memories, Re, whatever, for the PS2. This game is okay, like the card system is really tough to get around, but uh, I've only gotten like halfway through it and I let someone borrow it or I moved on to another game. Um, it's alright, but I mean the story is pretty much told in Kingdom Hearts. If you've played 358 over 2 and um, what's it called, um, Kingdom Hearts 2, then you don't need to play this really. Uh, there's nothing like super shocking, it's alright. Uh, I played it for the Game Boy a little bit more, but I've never actually beaten it. <clears throat> I haven't played this yet, but because I got a new Yu-Gi-Oh game for my DS that uh, is probably in the DS, but uh, <clears throat> it's uh, it looked fun, and I'll play it eventually. But I really wanted a GX game for the PS2, so I don't know. I haven't played it, so I can't really comment on it. This game is really fun. Uh, it's you actually use the cards in this, but um, like it's just a weird take on the game, like it's more strategy based and stuff like that, um, and you know, I like it, it's kind of hard to explain, but I like when they go outside of just doing card battles, where they try stuff that's different, because, you know, those aren't, don't always work, <laughs> so, alright, let me explain, when I worked at GameStop, we couldn't take, um, like, these kind of games, like that was, GameStop takes them, but our store manager didn't want to take them, so the kid was like, alright, you can just have this. And I was, what, like 16. So I was like, <laughs> alright. And um, honestly, I've kept it because it's not bad. Um, like, it's not a terrible game. It's not a great game. But, like, it's playable. <laughs> so, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't played it in years, but I think it's funny to own it, so I kept it. I've only beaten this once because the game is immensely long. And that's even saying more than most people. But I still do like it, and I like going back to it. It's just, it's tough trying to get back into it. <clears throat> like, I yeah, like I said, I've only beaten it once because the game is immense, and I didn't even do all the side quests. I want to go back and play it again and do a bunch of the side quests this time, but I can't really see that happening anytime soon. Maybe when I get bored. Uh, might happen over winter break, who knows. Alright, this is... <laughs> I want to beat this game... Because I don't know why that tear is there. I bought it from Amazon like that. I really want to beat this game because Final Fantasy X is my favorite game. It says X2, but that's it's cut off. Doop. X2. Um, I don't know who thought to take the game in this direction after Final Fantasy X, but I want to shoot them. Me and my uh, friend PJ are going to play that over winter break, and we're going to 100% it so we can get the good ending and never have to play it again. But... I kept kept it because I really love the story and the characters so much that it's worth putting up with the most girly and ridiculous gameplay choices I've ever seen in a video game. Oh my god. Anyway. Um Monster Rancher 4. Oh man, I really want this is a game I was actually considering a let's play for. Um the awesome part about Monster Rancher is that you can like you go to the monster creator or whatever and you put in a disc, like you can put in a CD, a DVD, a PS2 game, because it's a PS2, or a PS1, and it will create monsters based on the game. I mean, it's largely random, like each disc gives the same monster every time, 
And some discs give like special monsters, like Final Fantasy X gives a special like see-through one. Uh, Lord of the Rings 2 gives a special Black Knight. But it's like really random ones. And <laughs> actually Ape Escape, which you can see the eyes poking up right there, gives you an actual Ape Escape monkey to fight with. So I highly recommend this game. It's still pretty expensive online, but I'll probably do a 30 minutes of it or a let's play of it or just showing it off somehow eventually. But this is one of my favorite games ever. And I really wish I didn't sell it when I sold my PS3, because I missed the original artwork. Uh, I've had this game for I can't fucking tell you how long, since I bought it, which must have been in 2003. Um, this game is you draw your own creature and then you turn-based fight with them. The turn base isn't that great, it's like rock, paper, scissors type thing, but I mean just the fact that you're drawing them and then fighting with them is amazing. I can't explain this game to them. I have to do a let's play of it because it's a really short game. Um, but it just is really fun and I recommend it. It should be dirt cheap at GameStop or at um, Amazon because um, it didn't get that much recognition. But I really recommend it. The story's it's alright. Like, it's not terrible. It's not ideal. Ape Escape 2. Um, one of my favorite games just because it's so random. You if you have a PS3, you've probably seen these like characters pop up in games or just like in the PlayStation Store or whatever. They're really fun. I didn't play Ape Escape 1, but I've played 2 and 3, and they're really fun. Uh, so here's my favorite game of all t of uh, not all time, maybe, I don't know. Definitely my favorite PS2 game. I love the story, I love the side quests, I love everything about it. I do not have enough good things to say about it. I love James Arnold Taylor who voices Titus. I love Tara Strong, who voices Riku. Um, I just really love this game. I've beaten it dozens of times. Uh, again, I wish I had the original artwork for it, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster, which goes off of um, one of the manga things, I want to say. Um, yeah, one of the manga uh, chapters, they had Capsule Monsters, and it's really fun. Um, it's like chess, but with like the actual car like dual monsters as the pieces. Um, it's really hard to explain. I don't know if I'll ever show it because it's not really that type of game. But um, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I recommend picking it up. Um, it should be cheap too, and it's really fun. Um, what's next? I have only beaten this game, I think maybe once or twice, and I really want to go back and do the same thing, like beat it more, level up my character, do the bonus like after story. Um, but this game is super, super fun. They tried selling it on the basis that it had a demo of Final Fantasy XII in it before XII came out. They don't even need that. This game easily sells by itself. Um, it's super fun. I love the characters, story, side quests. There's so many side quests in this. Um, it's all really good. Moving on. Um, I don't need to say anything about either of these two games. Um, they're both amazing. If you haven't heard or played of Kingdom Hearts, then, you know, You've been living under a rock. I love them both immensely. Um, I like two a little bit more. Some people like one. I like two. Uh, Birth by Sleep is easily my favorite, though. Uh, 3D was all right. But um, I've beaten two multiple times, like dozens, like dozens. I've probably beaten one, like, you know, three or four. Um, moving on. GameStop wouldn't accept this back. Ultimate Ninja 2. It's all right. I go back to it every couple years or so. Um... The PS3 one was pretty fun. I think I sold it, though, because the new one's coming out soon. But, um, yeah, if you like Naruto, it's a pretty good fighting game series. I recommend picking up at least one of them. Ape Escape 3, uh, I talked about it earlier. Uh, it's not as fun as Ape Escape... Well, hmm. Like, there's some fun gameplay parts of it, but I think 2 is better. I don't know why. I just like 2 better. Uh, Slugfest 04. Um, you know what? One sec. Really don't know why I have this game, um, so. Oh, man, don't make me look weak on video. Alright. That's handled. Fantastic. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, perfect. So, Slugfest 2006. Uh, again, GameStop would not take them back. I used to play these with my friend Wayne. This was back when they came out, and, um, you know. They don't really hold up. Come on. Really? What is this made out of? Teflon? Alright, well, that's close enough. Um, no, it's not. There we go. Yeah. 
All right. That's what I think of those games. They're fun, but I just I'm tired of looking at them. I'll never play them again. Uh, what's in this one? Let me go over this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving on to PS3. And moving on to PS3. All right. Let's start off. Days X. Uh, I played on Xbox, so I haven't gotten back into it on PS3 yet. But um, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm borrowing it from a friend right now, and he keeps nagging me to play it. I've been borrowing it for like a year. I'll play it eventually. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see. There is two. Off the record. Um, why is the quality so bad? What do you want from me? Better? No. God damn it. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I love Dead Rising. I love Dead Rising 2. Off the record, if you're, a, if you're a Dead Rising fan, you definitely need to pick it up. It's super cheap, too. Um, I'll never platinum it. Because there's some co-op ones that I know I won't get. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm running out of things to say. Uh, Eternal Sonata, I started that on Xbox. Um, I haven't really played it much. From what I've heard, it's really fun, but I haven't really gotten around to it. I'll play it eventually, but, you know, I can't really give an opinion. Um, I've beaten this game once. And I like it, but it's really hard to get back into. I've tried dozens of times. Uh, but this game is really fun. I love the mechanics of it. Uh, the sequel, Red Faction Armageddon, less fun, because this game is open world, but the sequel's linear. So, you know, you just you go, you do a mission, you go to a new place, and then it doesn't work as well. I don't know. So I have kind of sour feelings about that. Uh, we have Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. I am close to platinuming this. Um... Not even close, actually. I think I'm missing some DLC achievements. But I stopped playing a while ago. I don't remember why, but it, I'll go back to it eventually. Um, I love this game. I recommend it to anyone. Get the Game of the Year edition, because the DLC is just as fun. Uh, my first Platinum, probably my favorite PS3 game. Um, did I recently buy it again? Why do I have this sale? Oh, that's weird to me. Um, or is this Carlos's copy? That'd be funny. No, alright, um, yeah, easily my favorite PS3 game. Uh, if you're a Ratchet Clank fan, it's amazing. Um, there's dust on it because, fuck you, that's why. Um, I picked this up because Best Buy gave me some, uh, refunded me on something. I don't even remember what I bought, a graphics card or something. And I had to spend it. So, Journey Collection, there's Flower, there's Flow, and there's Journey in the middle. Uh, I played Flower, I liked it a lot. I, it was very calming and soothing. I like Journey, but I stopped playing for a little bit, and I haven't gotten back to it. Um, it's like getting brave awards and reviews from all sorts of people, so it's got to be they got to be doing something right. <clears throat> I love Dead Space 2. I can't wait for Dead Space 3 to come out in a couple months, and I can't say enough good things about this game. It's really fun survival horror, and it's they do it really well. I like it better than 1. 1 is better in some ways, but I like 2 better. Because I do like Isaac as a character. Um, in the first game, he was completely silent. I like it when he talks in 2. Uh, some people weren't for that. <laughs> if you've never played a Katamari Damashi game, I highly recommend it. They're strangely addicting. The soundtrack is really good. But the story is just absolutely Japanese and absolutely ridiculous. But I still love it. Um, I think I've gotten like halfway through that game. <clears throat> Jack and Daxter 1, 2, and 3 HD Collection. Whoop! Um, I love these games. I've platinumed 1. I 2 is my least favorite of the 3. Like, I still like it, but not nearly as much as the other 2. So I kind of stopped, like, two-thirds of the way through. I still got to go back and do that. Um, that's kind of why I want to do a Let's Play on them, because I was hoping it would get my ass in gear and I'd finally finish it. But, yeah, there they are. Uh, really fun. And... Speaking of collection, we have the Sly collection. Uh, I've platinumed all three of these games. I think two or three is my favorite. Two story-wise is much better. Um, three, they added a lot of gameplay stuff, but it just feels shorter. And, you know, I still really like them both, and it's a really close race. Uh, me and Carlos have debated over this a, a bunch of times. Um, I already talked about Metal Gear Solid a little bit, but this is Peace Walker 3 and 2. I refuse to play 2 until I play 1, and 3, like I said before, I've played it and I really like it, so it's fun, and I pretty easy to get trophies in, surprisingly. 
Dead Rising 2, already talked about it, um, but I platinum this game while I was playing Digimon World 1 during the Let's Plays. Um, really fun. I, if They definitely improved on everything they did in Dead Rising 1. If anything, Frank West is a better character, but that's why you should pick up Dead Rising 2 off the record, because it's, it's Dead Rising 2, but with Frank swapped as the main character. So, it's fun, especially the combo weapons. That was a great addition to that game. Uh, <clears throat> Catherine, uh, I just beat this this morning, actually. Uh, another game I borrowed from Carlos that I've had forever. I played it on Xbox, almost beat it, and then just stopped, because was, it was so hard on normal difficulty. So I started this on easy last night, played almost all through the night, and beat it. So the story is really fun. Again, very Japanese, but uh, made by the people who make Persona, which I've never played, but people seem to love them. Roger Plant Collection. I've platinumed 1 and 2, and I'm playing 3 currently, and I, like I said, I love these games. The HD Collection looks amazing. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference. Um, I'm actually put this aside, because I'm going to play that later. Um... We have the Oblivion 5-Year Collection, which is, um, let's see, so it's got Oblivion, all the DLC, and then like a bonus video I've never looked at. Um, I love Oblivion, I think I like it better than Skyrim, but I still like Skyrim, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> I bought this re again recently. This is a very dark story, like it gets sad, but um, I like it, and I like Kraken Time better, because it's just good gameplay-wise and story-wise, but... Um, you know, first PS3 game I ever had. It's really fun. I highly recommend it, um, if you're a Ratchet & Clank fan. <clears throat> Far Cry 3, uh, I've talked a little bit about this. If you want to see more, there's the 30 Minutes video I did. Um, it's alright. I like it. Um, it's kind of gotten repetitive. Like, I, I'll go back to it, but it just... I don't know. I'm, I get kind of worn down by it, so I think I need to take a break from it. Um, moving on. Dragon Age Ultimate Edition. Uh, if you've ever played Dragon Age, I definitely recommend getting the Ultimate Edition, especially because it's so cheap now. And, oh, now the quality's better. Of course it is. Um, so, it combines all the DLC. It's really fun. I have the... <laughs> I was almost said Mexican. I have the Spanish Edition, for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but it's still the English version of the game. I think that's funny. Partly why I bought it. Um, it's really fun. It's got a lot of RPG elements. Uh, and some strategy, but not like hardcore strategy. So, uh, definitely recommend it. Two, meh, I'll go back to it, but for now I'm not really, I didn't like it nearly as much. Uh, the Darkness, this was another one of my first PS3 games. I love this game to death. Uh, it's really dark, the story's really good, the gameplay's super fun. Uh, Darkness 2, they went from like a dark and like HD type gritty graphics to cell shaded, which works for the gore, but like, for the darkness type feel, it doesn't quite feel as well, and it's a lot shorter and streamlined, I guess. It was still fun what I played, but I definitely like the darkness one more. Uh, moving on. The Force Unleashed, uh, I just played this again. If you want a Star Wars game where you truly feel like a Jedi, this is the closest you are ever going to come. Um, they nailed every Force power. The lightsaber fighting is definitely really good. Uh, the Force Unleashed 2 is atrocious. And I hope to God they do make a 3 someday, and it gets better. But I don't think that'll happen, because 2 was so bad. Uh, it's actually pretty short. Um, 2 is immensely short, but this is actually pretty short. Um, I really love it. It it gaps the story between uh, episode 3 and 4, and it does it spectacularly. So, um, Full Frontal Assault. This just came out. Um, it's tower defense, mixed with like classic Ratchet & Clank gameplay. Also, crossplay on the Vita if you have one of those. Uh, it's only 20 bucks, and there's also a digital version. Um, I like what I'm playing so far. I took a break from it because I went to play the actual Ratchet & Clank. Um, I don't like that they made his head bigger. Like, wait, I can actually compare this. See, his ears are super big in this, and his face is different. I like the style better. Uh, they changed it from a crack in time to this. I don't know why. Anyway, moving on. Uh... People can't stop saying good things about this. They say the first game is atrocious. It's made by the people who made Metal Gear. Um, they say the first game is atrocious, but the second one is really, really good. I started the first one. It's alright, but, like, I have trouble starting games without playing the first one, so I think I'll just skip the second one eventually. I picked it up on Black Friday. Uh, I also picked up this, XCOM Enemy Unknown. I loved this game. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of into strategy, but, like, not hardcore. 
this game is really, really fun. Like, anyone could pick this up. It's made by Fire Axis, the people who make Civilization. Um, like, it's really intense, it's hard, like, this game will kick your ass, but, like, you'll keep going back to it. I'm gonna probably play it again really soon. It's really fun. Um, let's see, we have PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. <laughs> this is their answer to Melee, but it's, trust me, it plays... It's like comparing Street Fighter to Mortal Kombat. It's a completely different game from Super Smash Bros. Melee. And I recommend people try it out. Um, if you're a huge PlayStation fan, I love seeing all these characters fight. Uh, like, they feel like the characters you control in the game as you do, like, as you're, like, fighting. Um, I'll probably do a Let's Play on it, probably, like, one part, if I can get one of my friends to come with me. But, um, I, I totally recommend this game if you're a PlayStation, like, a Sony fan. Uh, Arkham City, it's, um, I played it for a little bit. I didn't play the Game of the Year edition. Like, you can see it's still sealed. Um, I got it on Black Friday. I haven't had a chance to go at it. And this is easily the worst cover any video game's ever had. 10 out of 10, bleh. That's stupid, but, um, I'll give it another shot. A lot of people liked it, so, uh, I'll give a better opinion eventually. Uh, and Fallout New Vegas. It's not nearly as fun as Fallout 3, uh, and I can't figure out why, but, um, it's definitely good. I played the original version, not the Ultimate Edition. Like, you can see, this is still sealed. But, um, I beat it once, and I beat it on the Hardcore mode, so I would never have to play it again. I'll get back into it eventually, but, like I said, still holding out on Fallout 4. So, um, yeah, that's it for the game collection. Uh, let's see, we got all those. We got this stack. These PlayStation ones. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, finally got to do that. Just uh, check on the progress. And, uh, oh, fantastic. Yeah, so I get bored during these, uh, so I'm probably going to play one of these games. I don't know which one, but I'll pick one. Uh, <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Um, you know, just some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, goodbye, thank you for watching, and have an excellent day or evening.